Hey guys, this is Matt Rose and this is the channel Wigwith. If you haven't already, like, share, and subscribe, please uh, hit that button at the bottom and uh, hit the bell if you'd like notifications for any upcoming videos of mine. Uh, without further ado, right off the top of the show, I'd like to talk about Dr. Fauci. I did see him on a PBS NewsHour uh, interview recently and he was giving an update on the vaccine trials that they're doing. They're hoping to have one under trial by the end of the year. Maybe it's a bit fast. I don't necessarily trust Dr. Fauci, but his advice has been pretty in line with CDC and the WHO organizations of the world. So, you know, always take it that with a grain of salt. Even though he's worked with Trump, you know, if his advice is good, maybe you should take it. Um, so here's some updates uh, personally from uh, the weekend for me. Uh, it's uh, been a brownie bake-off kind of weekend for me, so I baked a bunch of brownies. If anybody would like to get some of those off me, you know, get in touch with me. I've uh, been making lots of friends, making some enemies. Uh, some people on my YouTube channel want to leave a comment asking me to show them pictures of dead bodies over uh, some comments I made about the CCP and to that one person I would like to say just uh, Google CCP genocide because the first list of results is all you need to look at there. Um, and then the biggest news of the weekend I think is the fact that I have uh, started working with uh, Ashley Gold International Foundation which is a ground level uh, charity out of Nigeria so it goes and it feeds people right in the most desperate uh, need so that's definitely uh, another thing that I'll link at the bottom there check that out and then here's some news highlights from Alberta the top news highlight from Alberta I got is the Eskimo name change congratulations to the Eskimos and the Eskimos sponsorship group that's really big news I feel uh, step in the right direction. Hopefully uh, we can see some new names or uh, some new logos being rolled out here towards the end of the year. Maybe by next season have like a whole new um, a whole new feel to this uh, team. And so of course this wig with and uh, I am Alberta born and based. So here's uh, uh, more Alberta highlights from the weekend. Uh, David Shepard says that 55 doctors have not renewed their license, 32 retired, and 12 voluntarily left the registry. Uh, so that's not good news for Alberta. Uh, Jason Kenney is trying to say that they aren't leaving this province over so um, them ending the master agreement, Tyler Shandro ending the master agreement. But that's obvious that uh, David Shepard says the exodus is real. And we are seeing it right now. Like I said, I've talked to a doctor personally about this subject. He said his hands were tied. And that was even before a lot of these articles started coming out saying about how doctors are pretty much being forced to take a lower wage than they're worth. Uh, if we want to be a top leader in this country, you know, we've got to have about average pay for any doctor with uh, the top three or four provinces, Ontario, Quebec, and BC. So... If we're not seeing that, then I don't know what Jason Kenney's plan is, but I would hate to see doctors thinking, well, I should move to the Maritimes because I'll get paid more there, you know? Um, and then uh, last but not least is I did read a really damning article or, uh, letter from a teacher assistant. It was posted to Rachel Notley's uh, Facebook page. And uh, it states that she had, or they had just left or been, had their hours reduced from 32 a week to 16 hours. And they are a teacher assistant of 18 years. So they are definitely somebody that's experienced and can help kids. And we are basically cutting their hours in half, making their lives probably extremely hard to live because that was a single income family that Jason Kenney's tax cuts just kind of obliterated, you know? So we've got to keep writing those letters. Tyler Shandro, education, you know, all these people, they need to hear. 
just how badly we're suffering from your cuts, Mr. Kenny. And that is pretty much it for my video today. This is Matt Rose from Wigwith signing off. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell for more notifications, and I'll catch you guys later. Thank you. Bye.